Hello everyone, I'm Glasses Geek, and welcome to my very first mukbang. Let's have breakfast together. I hope your day is going well so far, that everything's alright. Everybody's been doing these mukbangs, and I decided to go ahead and try my hand at one myself, so... Good morning. Let's enjoy breakfast together. So good morning again. I hope everyone's having a good day and I hope your day is starting out well. Uh, I've been told that I eat eggs really, really weird. Uh, my mom actually raised me and my two siblings uh, and she taught us how to eat eggs. So I've eaten eggs like this my entire life. <laughs> I didn't know that this was weird until uh, my cousin, one of my dad's, on my dad's side, you know, one of my dad's relatives, let me and my mom know that the way that we eat eggs is weird. So I decided why not show this to the world and maybe if you're having a boring day or just tired of eating eggs the same old way, you can go ahead and try eating eggs like I eat. And See how it goes for you. This is a lovely new toaster that we just got. It didn't work too well, so we had to send it back. So here is the first thing that I do. I go ahead and... Now, this toast thing is something that I figured out. I I ended up realizing that I, when I was a little kid, I used to lick the yolk off the plate. And, you know, obviously your parents stop you from doing that because that's rude. And the outside hard part of the toast never worked when it came to, you know, wiping up all that yolk. So what I ended up doing was I, I little by little, I ended up realizing that 
if you can get to the inside, the soft, velvety inside, kind of like the soft underbelly of the toast. That, that would really help you in the line of being able to wipe up and sop up the yolk. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, the outside parts of the toast, the outside edges, I guess you could call it, sides of the toast are really, really strong because of the toasting, but the inside uh, is still usually very, very soft. Um, most toasters do that. They're supposed to toast the toast all the way through. That's the proper way to toast toast, but... Uh, Almost all toasters don't toast it right, but because of that, uh, it's a major upswing when it comes to eating, you know, sunny side up over easy eggs, you know, eggs with yummy, runny yolks that where the yolk usually spills out onto the plate. So the first thing I do is I take off the crusts, obviously here, and then I pry the toast apart like this. I get the fork in between the two sides of the toast and I pray it apart and I, I think definitely by the time I was about 10, 11 years old, I had figured this out. So, and I know that by the time I was 12, 13, I was doing this constantly, prying the toast apart. So now, now we come to the eggs. Uh, so yeah, my mom taught me how to eat eggs and this is how she taught me. And it's just so common and every day for me, uh, I... You know, I don't really have much need to explain it. Um, I I cut away the yolk, uh, but I'll, I'll try to explain it. Uh, this is just the way I eat eggs. <laughs> there there is no reasoning behind it other than this is this is the way I've always done it. As for that element of the explaining, as for how I do it, uh, obviously I I cut away. The white part and I try to cut away as much white as possible as absolutely possible uh, without breaking the yolk which is the goal because the whole goal is to not mix the white of the egg with the yolk and then uh, I personally like to eat the white first you know after I trim it all off the egg yolk uh, I like to eat all of the white and and I like to eat the white without the aid of the toast um, yeah, I do have to admit, uh, when it comes to the toast situation, it, doing the toast like this does usually mean, uh, that you really can't put butter on the toast or jam or jelly on the toast. You actually end up needing to, uh, to make yourself whole new pieces of toast. <laughs> if, if you're going to have jelly toast or butter toast or something like that. Although I found out that if you do have quite a bit of toast left over, which has happened to me in the past, you can go ahead and butter up and jelly up that toast anyway. Uh, I've even put peanut butter on it once, so yeah. Yeah, and then, okay, so once I get a, a substantial amount of the plate cleared, there we go, I, I pop the yolk. Uh, a lot of times I'll cut it in half, uh, some of the time I'll actually cut the yolk into fourths instead of halves, but I you need a nice clean and clear plate for this. So I, I try to clear away as much of the white as possible. So. And now I actually take the toast and see, yeah, and you use the out hardened, the outside, the hardened side for structural integrity, for strength, and you use the soft underbelly to wipe up the yolk. See? And this actually works far better, I found out when I was young. Uh, this works far better than a human tongue. A human tongue is very soft and velvety, but this toast, uh, maybe because of its dryness, I don't know, maybe because of its ratio of damp to dry, because of, you know, there's still quite a lot of moisture inside that toast that is coming out uh, after you've toasted it and I don't know whether it's the dampness or the dryness of the outside but it is it does a far better job of cleaning a, up a plate than a tongue does <laughs> I found out when I was young so
So yeah, here I am eating more of the white of the egg. Okay, I was wondering when I was going to get to this. Okay, so yeah, even though now I like to, usually I like to open one toast and leave the other toast closed. Um, because when it comes to eating the yolk, yeah, see, I'm taking a bit of crust there. That yolk is so yolky and so rich that I like having it on a full piece of bread instead of a half piece of bread like that. So now what you need to do in this situation is uh, eat up, I mean, I, I usually eat up all the crust anyway, but, uh, you know, I mean, you have to eat up all the crust anyway, not, you know, because otherwise it'd be wasteful, but most importantly, it, it would make the yolk way too yolky, <laughs> way too rich if you just ate only the yolk. There we go. And see, this is, this is the nice thing about having two pieces of bread popped apart, you can eat yolk and wipe it up all at the same time. So that soft underbelly is really good with wiping up even toast crumbs. So, but if, if you're going to eat the actual yolks, they're so thick and they're so rich and they're full of so much flavor that I actually, I, I routinely eat up, you know, the toast crust and the toast crumbs and um, all of it, you know. As you can see from my cleaning of my plate, I am a very clean person and I'm very much into cleaning my environment, even if it is my breakfast plate. <laughs> so, yeah, and as, as you can see here, all the toast crumbs, and now since my mouth has been so full of, yeah, and, and I've gotten so into the cleaning that I have to kind of clean up the crumbs on the I want to call it the crumb plate, but it's the toast plate. <laughs> this is really nice for a relaxing, quiet breakfast. Thank you for joining me today, and thank you for joining me for breakfast. This was really enjoyable. And this was really, really nice, being able to share a meal with, with you and anyone who might watch. I really like this. This was, this was some good eggs, too. These were some really, really good eggs. And with that, as you can see, my, my plate is completely clean of any and all yolk smears, and I managed to eat up every last drop of yolk, which I'm quite happy about. And yeah, it looks like we're actually coming to the end of breakfast here. I don't know how much more of this I filmed. Maybe I should have cut this part, but this is this is my first mukbang or sorry, mukbang. However, however you pronounce it. <laughs> this is my first uh 
eating show or eating on camera. And yeah, I, I wasn't sure if leaving the noises in would have been a good idea. Uh, I personally, for civility, I, I left all noises out and chose silence instead and background music <laughs> along with my voiceover rather than the sound of me slurping and chomping and chewing in the noise of the far too loud blasting TV. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you enjoyed eating with me. And, and if you're ever bored with how you consume eggs, uh, try this technique. You know, I encourage everyone to try this. And, and in fact, comment below. Let me know how you eat eggs or if this is really strange to you or if this is entirely new to you. If you've never seen anyone eat eggs like this before, yep, see, and, and I cleaned up the I cleaned up the toast platter. I cleaned up the crumb platter. <laughs> yeah, those crumbs can get really, really dry, but they're really good with yolk, so. I, I'm I'm really surprised that I didn't eat more of those crumbs with the yolk. Usually I do. Usually I eat, you know, almost all the crumbs up when I eat the yolk, so. Even if the oak is cooked all the way through. But yeah, apparently today I, I left a small platter of crumbs, so... Well... Oh, nope. There we go. I'm gonna eat them. I almost said, well, food for the birds, but nope. I'm eating the crumbs. You can tell I'm eating the crumbs right now. Yep. <laughs> You can see the lick hole right there. I licked up the crumbs. <laughs> that was the shape of my tongue. Well, um... Good morning, everyone, and thank you for having breakfast with me, and I hope that this was an enjoyable journey of learning how I eat eggs and how... how my family eats eggs. <laughs> and... Please join along with me the next time this happens, and... I hope that you have a good day. Thank you for stopping by. And remember, two prunes a day keeps the proctologist away. Or at least that's what I have to say. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for stopping by.